But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, luckily he's a terrible shot. Oh. <laughs> I deserve that, let's be honest. Alone. We are good kids. Don't you think so? I, that was completely an accident. Oh my god. Well. Ah, oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. <laughs> but with him being the main character and all, funny. <laughs> I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Wow. Well, maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business having him just lie there. Wow. Rest in peace and all that. Wow. The end. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm not really dead. <laughs> oh, come on, cut it out. This is so good. You'd think they'd be suspicious of a little flying helicopter like this buzzing around. Really? Instead, I'm gonna phrase it as a call to action. No, we're not going there. Oh, I guess we're going there. And the underground moves right in. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, I thought for a moment I was going right into the water. Tornado outbreak. Great. Just what we needed. A fast-moving line of storms gallop across the darkening summer sky with tornadoes ominously forming underneath. We're certainly getting a tour of the variety of natural disasters that can happen in the game. Whoop. Whoops. Oh! Oh, that was so close. Holy crap, how am I not... I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. Oh my god. That's... I'm in danger! You're not kidding. That's a zombie horde. Where are they going? They're hoarding this way. Yeah, uh, we're not doing this right now. <laughs> Oops. So I don't suppose this decorative pool has any special science stuff to it. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? I wonder how bad it would be if I were to actually start the engine. 
but the wrath of Hoochley of Hoochley was great. And as the sacrifice passed each of the four rooms dedicated to the sun god, the sun disappeared or reappeared in the sky. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I've ever built this one before. There we go. So it doesn't think much of my odds of surviving here for long. Which, honestly, that's fair. Uh... <laughs> Suddenly, I'm in agreement with it. I don't think this is how this is supposed to go down. <laughs> You have a rifle. Why do you run up to point blank range? <laughs> what was that splashing noise? Where has Spunky gone? <laughs> Do you mind? You're interrupting a thing here. Whoa! <laughs> well, that happened. Hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know. A little jolt of the force to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off. I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Oh, come on. There's got to be times when you've thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> well, that answers What's your that? question. Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. <laughs> Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. Oh my god, you build the actual family tree? What? Oh, wow. This is really hecking cool. I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. This is gonna go great. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My life warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. Ah. Thanks, Instara. So the captain really just uh, is basically in charge of the lights then, is what I'm gathering.
That's it? Not even one star? I just brought you a damn antimatter bomb on my back, people. Wow. Very cool. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Uh, okay, so... I hate fruit cocktail. I guess I'm just escaping then. And now I can never show my face in that establishment again. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... I... <laughs> well, crap! A guard uniform should do nicely, but you'll need to draw him out and isolate him. Or we could just do this one. There we go. That was so okay. much better. Now how to get out of here? You can't stop me. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I thought Jedi were powerful. You think you're so scary, sir, but you're dead. You don't even know it. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Uh The hell? <laughs> there are many sand pits around Sandrock which contain a variety of fish. What? Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. No! <laughs> Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning. High-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Fan service. Oh, oh no! It's fine. That was very discreet. Master of stuff. Right, now just a bit more. Mm. Hey, Gucci's.
Good evening, everyone. It's been a little while since I've been able to say that. I hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend. Uh, welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everyone doing? It's good to see so many people. And Stara, Bob, Winters, Callan Ray, what's going on? I hope everyone's doing well. hope you've had a good Sunday. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a secret bonus stream today. So let's see. Uh, I just need to get the game up and running. Since it is Fallout, and since it is modded, and since we are doing crowd control, it's slightly more complicated than normal. Oh, crap. It's more complicated than I remembered. Um, I'm going to have to restart it. I launched it in 4K, and I need to be at 1080. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Hang on. Just, uh, just give me half a second here. Where are we? Okay. I need to quit. So, I hope everyone's doing good. Doing good evening. Thank you very much, Kellen Ray. How is everyone? Where is OBS? There we go. Okay, and Vortex, I need you here. I need my display settings. There we go. That's better. All right. And I need that there. And I need OBS over there. I think we're just about done. Oh, wait. Ah. Uh. It wanted me to confirm, and I missed it. So it put me back in 4K. See, I, nothing's changed. I'm still a highly professional streamer. Yes, keep the changes. Thank you. Keep the changes. Now let's go. Bonus night stream. Yeah, I'll do this every once in a while. I'll do it every once in a while. <laughs> Thank you, Kellen Ray. That actually happened a little while back. I think that was uh, during my break on Tuesday. No, sorry, Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe on early Friday. I'm not sure. Uh. Speaking of hair and stuff, I need to cover some of it. There we go. Oh, right. We got Indiana Jones all the way up to level 10. I forgot. So how's everyone's weekend been? I caught up with a lot of you a little bit yesterday. I hope it's the rest of it's been going pretty good. Okay. Crowd control is running. Mods are running. I haven't changed the mod loadout since last time. Um, here, let me just start the session. There we go. So I'm just assuming that we're going to have a nice, calm, normal Fallout stream. You guys can, of course, prove me right or wrong, as you wish. Oh, of course, I'm over-encumbered. Who are you? Oh, right, you gave me companions. I forgot. Where are we? Okay, ten pines. Oh, no. And so it begins. Okay. Uh, where's ten pines? Ten pines, I guess, is here. No, that's south. We don't want to be going south. We want to be going east. Aaron Lore, I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Happy for the random night stream? Yeah. Like I said, I'll do it every once in a while. I'm not going to make it a regular feature of the schedule. But... 
it's a thing that I can do once in a while. I can do bonus day streams once in a while too. It depends on how much I've got going on. Oh, okay, so we were almost right at 10 pines. Now, actually, before we go too far. Oh, okay, we already talked to the 10 pines, folks. So we actually are heading back then. We talked to them, we got the mission, we have to go to Corvega at some point and murder people. It'll be fine. It'll be all, all good. So how are things going, Eric Nor? <clears throat> Other than being half asleep, I hope uh, I hope things are going a little better. So I'm not sure how long the stream is going to be tonight. I don't think I'm going to end up. The, that caught me by surprise. I was not expecting another flashlight beam. Uh, I don't know how long the stream is going to go. I'm assuming two or three o'clock. Closer to two, possibly three. I suppose when you get right down to it, four is really not out of the question, but it really should be out of the question just because that's getting on towards late enough that I might not actually be able to sleep long enough. Though I don't really have too much going on early in the day tomorrow. Oh. How did I not know this stuff was here? That's cool. Still dealing with all the extra crap. Made some dinner today, though, so that was good, even if it's just a crockpot thing. Hey, crockpot things can be really, really good. Hopefully it turned out well. What do you mean by phaser, Bob? I'm reasonably sure I don't have a phaser. I do have this. Although I'm getting a little bit low on ammo for it. So I probably want to swap that out. Thicket Excavations. <laughs> Thank you, Kellen Ray. I appreciate that. Now, did that give me just ammo or... Nope. That, now I have two alien phaser pistol things. Oh, God. Well, <clears throat> this is going to be one of those crowd control streams, is it? Wasn't me for once. Yeah, it's from Fallout 4, Bob. No DLC needed, no mods needed. I 
Uh, well, part of the reason it was over so quickly is, I'm sure, because I'm almost dead and I'm walking on broken legs and so... Uh, do I... I have mutt chops. There we go. Probably have to look that up online, Bob. Or you could think about it for a minute and think, where might, might I encounter an alien that might have an alien pistol in base Fallout 4? <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure it out pretty quickly. Oh, good. Thank you. That was not crowd control, by the way, just in case there's any question. That was a natural spawn. You wouldn't figure it out from that hint, but then I don't know all the locales in Fallout 4. Okay. Well, that's entirely fair there. Maybe I'm assuming too much knowledge. Um... You will only be able to find it after the alien spaceship crashes in Fallout 4 when you investigate the wreck site and kill the alien that crash landed his ship. You might have a few hours of experience in this game. That's true. That's true. I, I shouldn't assume that people just know as much as I do about the game. That's a good point. Thicket excavations. Actually, there's some dispute about that, Anstara. I used to have on Steam a recorded roughly 3,000 to 3,500 hours, but the last time I checked, I got downgraded, and now it's showing something like 2,600 hours or something. Which I can't account for. It's really weird. Uh. Where is the Air Force Station? I guess it's got to be... Oh, yeah. It's just hard to see because of the fog. It's right there. If it is, it's new behavior, Aaron, or it never used to do that. Even if you have a mere 3,000, it's 20 times more than I. <laughs> fair. That's fair. That's true. I didn't hear anything about any kind of change to the way that they calculate out the number of hours you've played a game, though.
I just noticed I've got n almost no ammo for this gun. And that pretty much reminds me of the next thing I need to spend my points on. I don't have the scrounger perk yet. We need to fix that. How close am I to dinging? I still have a bit to go. guys leading up to this area should be dead by now. I would have cleared them on the way up. Pretty sure I remember doing that. So we should be pretty good getting back to Sanctuary without dying. Unless, of course, you guys take matters into your own hands. I am way over. What the heck? What am I doing in Concord? Oh, you're checking my time. Okay, Bob, I wasn't sure about that. Oh, thank you, Erinor. I appreciate the chorus. Luckily, Concord tends to be... Unless you've got War on the Commonwealth, it tends to be pretty unpopulated. Every once in a while, you'll find some ghouls spawning. But it looks pretty quiet right now. I saw that sneaky autosave. Yeah. I both appreciate it and I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Sadly, I can't look around when that's happening. My camera's locked at whatever angle it's already at. I don't think it's quiet at all. There's all this armor clanking around. Sounds of the wasteland. It's definitely very noisy and not at all lulling people into a false sense of security. Oh god. Um, well, I guess we're going to get another tour of
I might live. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, only because it didn't immediately go on for me. Holy crap. Thank you. <laughs> uh, nope. Hello? Oh, there we go. Now I'm really low on ammo, but that's all right. I am shocked. I owe that Brotherhood Knight. If she hadn't tanked for me, I'd be toast. Well, I mean, behemoths have toenails. That's how they keep their loot secure. It's nailed in place. It just makes sense. Where else would you look for it? I have no better explanation to offer on Sara. That works for me. Preston, you okay? I don't know if I would recommend standing there. Wonder if I already looted the grenades. Yep, I did. Oh, right. People spawned cats, didn't they? I forgot about that. On the fingernails where it's harder to reach? Yeah, but, you know, that's a little more risky because behemoths are always getting into combat and swinging their arms around pretty wildly and things go flying out. It's just... The toenails are a little more stable. Deathclaw is still there. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the stim pack and the bobby pins. Okay, let's get rid of crap. Okay, so that's all light armor. Wait a minute. Mole rat chunks. That's food, is it not? At least in theory.
Okay. Hey. Oh, uh, what's up? Just looking to trade a little. Please, just. I, I need to be alone right now. Weren't you the one just a moment ago asking to speak? Weird. I. Crap. I only have the one thing for armor suits. I mean, I have to leave this here. And now I'm overburdened again. Can't talk while I'm on duty. Always be vigilant. Well, those two are getting along very well. Yeah. Definitely, definitely gonna need Scrounger. We have many enemies. I think we can do eight. You can make mole rat chunks. There's mole rat meat and mole rat chunks. And that's just under roast. Let's see if we can do death claw steak. Grilled rad stag, which is nice because it boosts your carry capacity. Mole rat chunks. Mutt chops, ribeye steak, which sounds really delicious. And there's also soups. Military business only. I don't ever really do the soups. Mostly because they usually use dirty water, which I don't tend to have very often. I could make vegetable soup. There. I'll do it once. You haven't forgotten about that, have you? Oh, no, of course not, sir. I, I'm just... What? Out of my way, Wastelander. Okay then, buddy. You keep doing what you're doing. Seems to be working for you. Yes, sir. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's cool. All right. What were we gonna do next? Um. I should have done more. I hope. I think we're gonna go raid the basement. <laughs> you spawned another house cat. Thank you, Winters. Uh, let's see. Won't be able to pick this. Yeah, we will. Just not yet. For you right now. Carry on, ma'am. She's so negative. It's a good thing she's useful. If you aren't brotherhood, you're nothing. Then I don't want to be something. Hey, Mad, what's going on? Yeah, it's a super secret surprise stream. It's good to see you, Mad. You can do the cow thing in this game, too? Oh, God. Okay, let's see. I've got to drop some stuff here. I can get rid of... Actually, I don't use shotguns very often. I can ditch that. Okay. 
Okay. That'll do for now. Nope. There is no cheese in Fallout 4. Wastelanders have no concept of cheese in this game. Maybe in a future Fallout. I don't think I've gone through this house very much. And I know there are others back up closer to home that I haven't really gone through. Take that. Okay, I got a reasonable collection of bottles. And that reminds me, I forgot to get the mod that gives you the bottles back when you turn them into purified water and drink it. Oh well. That's it? Oh, I bet you there's a pretty decent collection of uh, bottles in here. I just noticed I am sick again. Out of my way, Wastelander. Is that Aaron Lar? Hang on. <laughs> it probably is. It probably is the real credits. I think the real question is, um, which movie is that from? It's got to be, I guess it's got to be one of three. It's got to be episode two, episode three, or it could be from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. I didn't note the other names on the list and arrow it down. But I assume it's episode two or three. Oh, I can put the other armor in here. Okay. So we've got that. Does that mean... Oh, I don't know if we've actually talked to dog meat yet, have we? Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Mace Windu and Chancellor Palpatine. Okay. Then, yeah, probably is episode three, I would think. Your armor is looking a little shoddy, lady. 
What's up, boy? Good boy. There we go. Well, of course you didn't expect it, Mr. Soggy Ramen. It wouldn't be much of a super secret stream if it were expected. How are you doing? It's good to see you. We need Scrounger. Padme was only unconscious for a brief point at the very end of the movie. I don't think we can really hold that against her. Uh, okay. Ooh, how was Spider-Verse? I'm going to watch the heck out of that as soon as it's actually out for real. Correct, Aranar. That, that's very true. Can't get that one. Scrounger is not working so far, I've got to say. Legendary Mr. Gutsy? I guess I forgot that we had him. He must have got ordered accidentally to stay put, and then that was it. Do I look like I have time for idle chit chat? Yes, you do. Do I look like I have time for idle chit chat? Or maybe not, I guess. First gaming experience from memory, hmm, has to be the Delta Force series? Oh, I don't think I'm familiar with that one. That's an interesting answer. Tell me a little bit about that. And welcome on in. It's good to have you here. 
Uh, all right. I need somebody willing to carry my crap. Hey there. Can't talk while I'm on duty. Dog meat. If you're gonna tag along, you can help me out. Hey. Don't you yawn at me. You can take these. Uh, okay, that'll do. Thank you. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait for the sequel for the rest of it. Who knows when that's gonna be? Uh, that's okay. I don't mind that. Spider-Verse is really good if you go into it knowing that it is part one and not a full movie. Would it not be part two? I kind of assumed it was the middle part of a trilogy. On the positive side, that means I was also expecting that it wouldn't fully resolve everything. That's just standard. Delta Force was a series of FPS, single and multiplayer games. I think there were three, including Black Hawk Down. They were pretty ahead of their time. Interesting. Okay. How long ago did those come out? Engaging target. It's okay, guys. We don't need to murder everything. What did I just say? Well, I mean, I guess at least that's lunch. Well, come on in, ladies. I'm actually not using a high-def mod. I am using a mod that changes the atmosphere somewhat and makes it... Oh, hello. Makes it more foggy and whatnot. But my mod list is actually surprisingly light at the moment. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. You are now a lore seeker. Last I checked, they were still for same on or sale on Steam. 2005-ish. Okay. I think I was mostly out of the FPS game by then, which maybe sounds a little bit odd considering that Fallout 4 is really kind of, sort of, almost an FPS in a way. Or at least it's... Uh, yeah. Okay. What is this? This is... Okay, so... Oh, man. I really got turned around. This is the, uh... This is the... The drive-in theater. Have a great night, Aaron Lord. Thank you for your help this evening. Sketchy! It's going pretty good. How are you doing? So, Into the Spider-Verse can be self-contained across and beyond the Spider-Verse or a two-part. Oh, so it's like Star Wars, then. They made the first movie without the advanced knowledge that they were going to be able to make more of them. So it had to be somewhat self-contained, but then they got the go-ahead to do more of them, and so they made part two with the intention of making part three, which they didn't have the luxury of taking into consideration in the previous film. So, yeah, that, that, that tracks. That works. Oh god, no. <laughs> I have like 3,000 hours in this game. This is the first time I've played it in quite a while. I haven't really been a regular Fallout player for a few years, but uh, no, I know this game very well. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. One of these days we'll get you out of there. We're going to have to head back to Diamond City. I need Doc's son to take care of a little... What actually do I need him to take care of? Uh... Hmm. Well, something. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. Did you see the Baldur's Gate meme with the bear and the squirrel? I don't believe I did, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I saw a Baldur's Gate meme with a bear, but I don't think it's the one you're referring to. This is a quite new one. Don't that nothing wrong with that sketchy. Not all films are for everyone. I absolutely loved the first Spider Verse film. I thought it was fantastic. That doesn't mean everyone's gonna love it. That's that's okay. I don't remember a squirrel, Ansara. Oh, and uh, five minute warning, folks. By the way, we are going to have an ad break in five minutes or so. I'm going to have to go back and look at that again. I don't remember that at all. I believe you. But I don't remember that at all. You know, Scrounger is really not living up to its potential here. I haven't gotten any ammo whatsoever. What the heck? Incognito, thank you so much for the sub. You're now a lore keeper. You hate ads. I don't blame you. I would get rid of them entirely if I could, but I do the best I can to make them as... Uh, oh as uh, unobtrusive as possible by taking breaks and running clips so that you... Damn it. <laughs> so that you don't have to miss moments like that one. Oh god, we're all the way back here. Okay, we're just gonna do the accelerated tour. I'm not gonna go loot everything. I will get dog meat. I will get uh, the red rocket station added to our list of locations. And I will fight the mole rats because that's what got us to level 2. Or, sorry, level 11. Death to the blue clone trooper, yes. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm still wearing my vault suit, aren't I? Or am I? Yeah, I am. Okay. Dog me, where are you? Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy? Okay, then. Let's stick together. There we go. If Marvel made a Puck movie, I'd watch it. You'd buy every copy? I don't think I know that character. Put on the Doom armor? I don't 
think I've got that available. We're still very early in this playthrough, Mr. Soggy Roman. This is stream number two of this particular character. I'm only level 10, 11, whatever it is, because I am also using crowd control. And people have done a variety of effects over the last stream or two. I would not normally be so high level this early in the game. I know I said I wasn't going to loot everything, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to loot anything. So let me just grab some stuff out of here. Oh, I forgot. Damn it. I hope it's not too late. I forgot to fight the freaking mole rats. I need that XP. I have to go back for it and hope that we didn't miss it. Yeah, but we confirmed last time. Like, I I had another companion last time. What was it? I had, like, a really super strong companion that actually died permanently. Who are you guys? Fred O'Connell and Mercenary. Oh, you're one of the traveling vendors. Shoot, you know what? I think we missed the mole rat infestation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fred O'Connell. Sorry, don't have anything to sell. I'm on my way to Vault 81 to restock. Maybe you can find what you need there. Damn it. I thought for a moment that Fred O'Connell was the wandering doctor guy, but I guess no such luck. Ugh, we missed the mole rats. No mud crabs in this game, that's true. You remember that guy? I barely remember him. Once he mentioned Vault 81, I remembered him, but I had no idea until he said that. Some people skip the mole rats because the dirt holes don't despawn. That's fair. That's true. I'm hoping there's nothing like that in Starfield. Oh, shoot. Ads in progress. I'll be right back, guys. Do that, that again. again. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> yeah, we're going, we don't need that hits entirely, entirely differently in this game than it normally does. I'm used to hearing that one in Far Cry when I fly somewhere. Technically, we're into November. The sniper ambush. God damn it. Ah. Oh, shit. No, now. Add snipers to the list, apparently. So, once she's regained her ability to take action, I'm going to bring her back and she can deliver the stuff that she's collected to us. <laughs> God, the charging of the boar. Oh, oh. This has been a very quiet level so far. It makes me very suspicious. Well. I'm a little suspicious now. Uh, I quick saved, right? So. Uh -oh. 
Yeah. It doesn't seem to open. That doesn't seem to work. I tried to give the deadly piranha poodles to the meat. Oddly enough, that does not seem to be working. That doesn't look scary at all. I expect there's going to be zero problems with this. This is fine. Okay, are we back? Things were being a little bit weird on my end. I think we're okay. Monkey Island, my voice echoed a lot. That's, I wasn't hearing that at all. But then again, I haven't been doing a whole lot of PC game streaming recently, and... My setup is a little bit weird for it. I need to go in, fix up my stream deck and everything, make sure everything's working okay. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. All right, we need uh, legendary Mr. Gutsy back again. Thank you for guarding the intersection. Yes, you do. You're coming with? Good. Okay. No game sound. You've got to be kidding. <sighs> Hang on a second, guys. Hmm. Just check my settings here. See an OBS, that looks like it should be fine. It looks to me like the audio is going through okay. Can you hear? Uh, it probably is gone, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Nobody's used it in a long time. Sorry, Mr. Gutsy. No sound. 
That doesn't make sense, though. It's showing up on my readouts. Hang on a second here. We are now a technical difficulties correction stream. Uh, this is difficult to monitor when I'm not, not tabbed into the game. Hang on a second here. Oh, hang on. How much ammo do I have? Okay, no more test shots with that gun. How's this? Any better? Hopefully. Quiet. Heard something, but very quiet. Everything is maxed out on the stream deck. Unless... Let me just check my settings again. Because I swear I did not change anything. I hear it quite loudly. It, nothing has changed from before the break. It's actually, if anything, it's louder for me than it was before the break after I adjusted the settings. Don't be silly. Oh, there we go. Rad's what? What's a oh a legendary Rad Scorpion? Mute to you. I don't Okay, hang on. There's only one other place that I can adjust things and see if something got messed up, and that's if something got changed in the Windows sound settings. Everything's maxed out there. Everything's maxed out there. Uh... I don't get where this could possibly be quiet. This is so weird. What if something is just muted but not turned down? No, it's... 
Nothing's muted. I can visually see... Oh, hang on, hang on. That might actually have been it. Can you hear now? Okay, excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the Tatoes as well. Something did accidentally get muted. Uh, okay, I need more ammo. Where can I go to get ammo? You know what? We're gonna go explore in a different direction. We're gonna avoid the ghouls over there. We're gonna make our way to... What is that place? Um, what's it called? Well, there's a truck yard we're going to go visit, and we're going to... There's going to be ghouls there, too, but we're going to deal with them, and it's going to be good. It'll be fine. Big gyms? I don't think so. I'm not the best with names. I know the layout of the map reasonably well, even though it's been a while since I played regularly. Oh, hello. Stop it. Stop making me miss. Whoa. Here, whoa. Jeez, guys, be careful. Okay, well, there we go. It's the one up the road here, not far from Abernathy Farm. It's not cheese, but you still got your explosion. There probably isn't friendly fire. It just looks terrifying when they shoot, because I do run a mod that makes all of the bullets visible, or, you know, other projectiles or beams or whatnot. And it looks terrifying when they're shooting, and you actually get to see how close it's coming to you. Big Jim is the legendary wrench, if you're not mistaken. Could be. Is that it there? That looks like that might be it there. Oh, crap. Oh. That's... Not ideal.
underground beneath a shop that has another entrance through a pipe. That sounds familiar. That's a quest location, if I'm not mistaken, like a main story mission location. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Now we're starting to finally get some ammo. Travis. Sadly, I've got to see if I can turn that off. Greeny, how's it going? It's good to see you. Nice. Crowded in here, guys. Yep, you do, Sketchy, and your legs eventually break. I know this from extensive personal experience. How's it going, Greeny? It's good to see you. I well, hope all is well. Yes, that's true. That's very true, Ansar. If my legs aren't broken in Fallout 4, something is terribly wrong. go. Balance restored. Well, I think the broken legs might only be in survival mode. I always play in survival mode. The cabin placed Walden's Pond. Oh, okay. No, I was thinking of a different place. It's the place with the pun, and that's why it's called being thorough. Right. Got it. <coughs> Speaking of being thorough... There is Cobra. Eh, crap. our ammo. Damn.
Okay, I'm gonna switch back to this for a little while. Nothing there. I discovered a streamer that does nothing but Baldur's Gate and you learned something. Oh, that's interesting, Greeny. What did you learn? Um, oh, is that an ammo box? I see. Yes, it is. Excuse me, sir. gone upstairs yet. Certain weapons you never used. Oh, there's probably tons of stuff like that for me. money. Okay. That's probably good for now. Psychic damage incoming. Alright guys, we can do a terrible pun or dad joke. Just give me a moment here. You found like every weapon but used them. Yeah, I, I probably not come close to finding every weapon because I haven't technically finished all the DLC. Actually, I don't think I've done any of the DLC now that I think about it. Not for Baldur's Gate or for Baldur's Gate 2. Um... Terrible pun or dad joke. Okay. I once met a sunbathing mathematician who often strayed from the topic of conversation. He was a real tangent. There you go. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, Winters, but it does count as paper, or sorry, uh, it counts as cloth, which means it's useful in crafting. So if you've got a single pre-war banknote, you can actually turn it into a bed sheet. I think we can carry most of what we've got back to Red Rocket from here because we are very close to the uh, Abernathy farm. I 
and also quick save. Well, you know, you make do with what you've got on hand in the wasteland. You don't have time to worry about the niceties like making sure your covers actually fit your whole body. That's right, I haven't actually been to Abernathy Farm yet. I'd forgotten. So we'll get the USA, uh, we'll get the, the Air Force location as well, and the quest for the locket. Yeah, I think you're right, Cobra. I think that's gotta be a, it's, it's that gosh darn radiation affecting the, uh, the plant cells in the paper. Hey there. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. Gotta be careful. Never know who you can trust these days. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy. Been ages since I've seen one of those vault suits around. You new to these parts? Old, actually. How long has this farm been here? Generations, I'd say. My father, and his father at least. How about you? Ever think about working the land? I'll probably give it a try someday. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you at the Diamond City Market someday, and we'll do a swap. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the Raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Sounds like bad news to me. You really are new to these parts. Best armed bastards in the Commonwealth. You have something they want, they won't hesitate to take it. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Nope, my character's not okay, Ansara. Don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. This is what it looks like when you're actually seeing yourself in third person and your legs are broken. Hung out in a stream during work today. They were doing the worst world state in the Dragon Age world. This was Inquisition, and you have to admit it was interesting, as in lots of earlier game companions being killed, lots of bad decisions happening. Made it a very interesting playthrough. But Alistair was executed, so you were okay with it. Wow, Greeny. Justice for Alistair. Combat initiated. Get him. Thank you. Hey, stop shoving. That's my job.
I'm never gonna find the body of that first one, though. Oh well. is the red rocket station. It's behind this fog. Define early sniper rifle, Mr. Soggy Roman. Gotta love it when you murder something so good you ain't never finding the body. If you're lucky, you find a foot that has the entire inventory inside it. Yes. Okay, I think I need a stim pack. Yeah, the pipe rifle, I know about the pipe rifle. Pipe rifles are not worth bothering with, unfortunately. Plus three to all stats when you're at 25% or less health. Okay, now that we're back up to speed, let's go back to Sanctuary where I can heal properly. Oh my god, thank you. Trust me when I tell you, though, that stim packs are not the problem here. It's actually... No, never mind. I'm not even going to tell you. Because then you'll just weigh me down with that. But thank you. Stim packs are never a bad thing to have an excess of. Oh god, where are they all? This weather very... Oh, God. What? Oh, no. Oh, what have you done? Oh, shoot. Damn it, Winters. There's no hail and fallout, no. It's a red storm. Uh, okay. okay. Assault gas mask will help. Uh, 
Um, That is... Uh, actually, I don't think you can mark sim packs. You can mark crafting materials to search. I might be mistaken, but I don't think you can mark other things. Okay, I think the assault gas mask has helped. I'm going to take a little bit of rads, but it's not going to be as bad as I feared it might be. Now we can get back on the road to Diamond City again. So we can take care of Mystery Affliction. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Radstorm is indeed gone. So is everything else I've accomplished in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> You know what, though? I'm going to go back and get that uh, the thing again anyway, the assault gas mask, just because red storms are going to happen, whether you cause them or not. And it's good to have one. Even if I'm not wearing it, I can at least switch to it really quickly. Do I look like I have time for idle chit-chat? Yes, you do. Oh my god. Get him! Ooh, legendary. Raider right arm light troubleshooter. Yes, you do. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. You have anything to trade? You look in the trade, you can talk to my wife. She's up by the house, but be warned. You try anything, you're asking for a fight. Do I Let look like I'm in any shape to try anything? Easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. Gotta be careful. 
Never know who you can trust these days. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy. Been ages since I've seen one of those vault suits around. You new to these parts? Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about work in the land? <laughs> I am very aware, Mr. Soggy Roman. But they also take cores. Well, good luck to you then. Maybe I'll see you at the Diamond City <laughs> Market someday and we'll do a swap. Word of advice though. <laughs> Thank you, Ansara. Farm? Be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? You need to do what you can to protect you and your family. It ain't that simple. They're well armed and there's lots of them. If I drive them off, they'll be back with twice as many men. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Don't worry, I'll get it back. Don't worry, I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. Okay. Back to Red Rocket again. I'll drop some stuff off. Then we'll go back to Sanctuary and save properly. And let me see if I can figure out... Um, Ooh, no wonder I'm dying so quickly. Yeah, we need to get to Diamond City. <laughs> Thank you, Winters. I've got weakness and I'm taking bonus damage. My biggest complaint is the lack of the screw all of your factions option. I believe that's called playing Nuka World. <laughs> my least favorite of the DLC. That's where you can turn the raiders into your faction. Okay, let's see. Now, see, there I agree completely, Mr. Soggy Robin. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Raiders are for murdering, not for working with. work with raiders to kill raiders oh is that a part of it see i'm not sure i would even work with them to that end i don't need raider assistance to kill raiders unless you count being practice raider assistance in which case it's kind of helpful You still have the quest, listen to Nuka Radio. Okay, then I won't say too much about it. Out of my 
away, Wastelander. So rude. You just wait, ma'am. One day I'm gonna take care of all of your brotherhood friends. Not all of them, but most of them. Okay. Oh, thank you, Winters. I'm playing Dragon Quest XI. I've heard that's really good, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I would like to try a Dragon Quest game one of these days. And it's the general mercenary work RPG, and people are like, help this monster kidnap my little sister, and I'm like, sure, for a price. Sadly, the game doesn't give you an option to be a D. That's because it's a, it's a heroic fantasy game. Not all games allow you to be a jerk-ass. Okay, where are we? We want our assault gas mask back. This time, we're gonna actually save the game. I am going to grab some water. I don't have time for you right now. What if their sister kidnapped the monster? Wouldn't that make her the monster? Maybe the real monsters were the friends we made along the way. That could be. Thank you, Winters. Military business only. Oh god, now I'm all over capacity again. Keep saying. <laughs> Fine. I'll tell you what, guys. I'll use the armor. Can't talk while I'm on duty. Do I look like I have time for idle chat chat? Yes, yes, you do. Kinda miss Fallout 3 for being the one time in history aside from Fallout Tactics where the Brotherhood of Steel aren't insufferable twits. Yeah, I was actually a little shocked when I first played Fallout 4 and discovered the Brotherhood were kind of assholes. I really liked them in Fallout 3. Except for the, you know, what in that game was a rogue band of them that was actually just as bad as the ones in Fallout 4 are. But the the sort of normal brotherhood in 3 is much better. They're pretty, actually pretty good. You resting comfortable be okay there? You, uh, you watch out there. I'll pay you double and I'll be like, sure. See, I would be like, oh, you can pay double, can you? That just means there's more for me to loot when I render you into a corpse.
Maybe Gord is the real monster we met along the way. Could be. to weigh in the effort put in for the reward. Five minute warning, guys. Another ad break coming up in five minutes. I suppose the amount of effort would then come down to what kind of monster it is. You also have to take into account the potential for killing the monster to be its own reward. did eventually get Diamond City open properly, right? Last time we got there originally because I believe it was Aaron Lore used the crowd control teleport to fast travel me to Diamond City, which was kind of amusing since I hadn't been there before, and so the conversation with Piper that opens the gates had not occurred, and I was trapped inside. <laughs> Two minute warning, guys. Two minutes. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it because it's real easy for me to get distracted in this game and miss when it's about to start. I would like to have a game that allows you to chop off an enemy's nether regions to mount on my wall. You probably shouldn't play D&D. Probably not. Or at least be very careful about who you play with. I have not played Valhalla yet, Blue Buddha. I have played Origins and I've played quite a bit of Odyssey, although I'm nowhere near done yet. Eventually one day I will finish Odyssey and then I can move on and do some Valhalla.
Well, that's disturbing, Bob. Think you would really like it? It's more like Witcher 3 than Assassin's Creed. Well, I mean, Assassin's Creed is more action-y, even with the added RPG-like features in Origins and Odyssey. Witcher 3 is more of an RPG, just straight up. Oh. All right, guys, time for that break. So if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it. I will meet you back here in just a few. What are you doing up there? Oh, you're trying to... Let's see what happens when he tries to light it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! <laughs> I didn't know that was what they trapped it with! <laughs> I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. This is gonna go great. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me! I might have warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back! It's not good to owe a crime lord me! How many times do I hear that a day? Nope, can't take all of us right before I take all of them. There we go. Spider Man one, robbers zero. Crap, he has a bad motivator. You're so fat. I mean, big and strong. <laughs> and you really do only have one eye. My eye. Give it to me. Give it to me and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it. Give it to me! You want it? <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh my god. Oh, we're continuing the tradition of Star Wars characters losing hands then. Sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> oh boy. Um. A little bit of a bumpy road with dragon skeletons everywhere. No problem. At first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Okay. I am back. Hey, Tap Girl. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Thank you, Greenie. Uh, 
Okay, where are we? Uh, we want to go this way. Thank you, Mr. Suggy, Robin, and, and Sara, and Tab Girl, and everybody. I don't believe it's a... Is it... Wait, is it a chat command or is it an overlay thing? I think it's an overlay thing, isn't it? a tree. Stop. Oh. Back. This is why I never trouble with dog meat. There you go. Oh, I'm almost dead too. I could probably use a little healing myself. Uh, where'd you all go? Oh. Stop shooting trees. Would you please murder him? We're down one companion. I don't know if you guys caught that, but we are missing legendary Mr. Gutsy. <laughs> and our legendary Brotherhood Knight. Sorry. I'm getting very low on ammo for this thing. guys. Oh, crap. Where are all the bodies now? Where are we? Where are we? There. Um. Where did they go? Oh, here's one of them. Combat knife frigid. 20% chance to freeze the enemy when you block their attack. Oh, 
I guess I'm overburdened. Yep, yeah, I'm overburdened. Okay. Well, luckily, we can stop at Hangman's Alley. I can't believe we lost so many of our companions. <laughs> Thank you, Greeny. <sighs> We're a much stealthier group now that we don't have the Brotherhood of Steel Knight with us. On Fallout 4, to carry power armor parts, I would shoot the body to damage the power armor parts to make them weigh zero. Uh, that's okay. I'm so used to traveling slower than this that this really isn't much of a problem for me. Besides, we've already taken Hangman's Alley. I can drop stuff off here. Okay, so we can drop that, and then we've got a lot of weapons I can leave. Yeah, a lot of these need pretty hefty repairs. Keep using the X01 for now. <laughs> Damn it, guys! <laughs> you actually can get frames from the enemies. have to get them out of the suit first but sometimes if you can snipe the power core in their suit you can do it oh no wait a minute I think that's just an insta kill I don't think that actually gives you the frame I know there is a way to do it. Maybe you have to pickpocket the core out of their suit. That forces them to exit. And then you can take the frame. It's been a while. I never bothered trying to get the suit. Oh my god. Oh, that was creepy. If you snipe the core and they survive the mini nuke explosion that follows, oh, okay, so that actually can do it too then. Well, that can always change, Bob. You can always level your stealth up.
that is smart. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? Wait. I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes. We're family. Didn't we already do this? Put the gun down now. He's a Sim. He'll kill us all. Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Doctor. Oh, what a mess. True. Oh, what a mess. Oh, I guess we have to wait. Okay. Excuse me. Shoot, where can I go? What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Break it up, people. There we go. Thank you. Doc. This better be an emergency. There we go. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Go over your symptoms with me. Got roughed up. Uh, I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in, though. Magical giant syringe. To the rescue. All done. Any other complaints? Your prices are too high. That was it. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. No promises. Nothing beats giant syringe, I know. Now, mm -mm. giant syringe beats all. That's why it's the accepted practice of all medical practitioners across the entire Commonwealth. Minor headache, giant syringe. Deviated spleen, giant syringe. Missing leg, giant syringe. It's basically your miracle medical cure-all. You have the right idea. Our armor. Only way to travel. You said it. Diamond City is the place to live, I tell you. You made the right choice coming here. You made the only choice coming here. You guys have a doctor. Oh, actually, before I leave, let me just verify that he didn't die. Yeah, okay. Weakness is gone, so we can go do the military station then, and maybe then think about taking on... What's that place again? The Corvega factory. Giant syringe injury? Giant syringe. Accurate. Oh, I'm sure they can find a way to make a giant syringe fix a missing head. Get him, dog meat. Hey. You're supposed to be dead, sir. Thank you.
Well, back to Hangman's Alley, I guess. Only problem with Fallout 4 is none of the factions are worth saving or joining. I like the Minutemen, the Railroad, and the Institute. The Brotherhood of Steel can get fragged. And obviously, if you've got the Nuka World DLC, like I've said, raiders are for murdering, not for working with. So they can also get fragged. Minutemen do not care what happens except for protecting the people from raiders. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, but you're not going to convince me that wanting to protect the people is a bad thing. Hate the railroad, care only for synths, and refuse to help humans? I, I don't think they refuse to help humans. They have to protect their ability to help synths, which means they're not always as quick to help humans. But that's just a matter of prioritizing, right? I'm fine with that. That's okay. It's not like they're a super rich faction that's got all the resources in the world. They're no different than any other special interest group. But what if the people suck? Yes. And now I'm starting to get low on ammo for this thing too. Institute blaster tool? What do you mean? Uh, we have to do something for these people too, as well, if I remember correctly. Right. We have to clear College Square for them. I completely disagree, Mr. Soggy Ramen. The settlements are not incompetent. The settlements are devastatingly underpopulated and under-equipped. There is a vast gulf of a difference between that and incompetent. There's nothing wrong with Preston. The only reason people hate Preston is because he's the radiant quest giver that contacts you more than any other. But every single one of the radiant quest givers does exactly the same thing he does. And all of them, Preston included, they really only give you new missions endlessly if you, the player, decide to keep on talking to them endlessly. The 
you have to be an active participant in order for him to get on your nerves. So it's entirely the player's fault. what we're going to do here is we're just going to march straight up the tracks here until we get back to the uh, Ten Pines settlement area. Is it Ten Pines? Well... No. I guess we don't really need to go back to Ten Pines yet, so we'll uh, we'll divert off around Starlight, and then we'll head over to the USAF station. Wish they didn't cut taking over the Brotherhood. That would have... Oh, man. That would have made the Brotherhood a very viable faction for me, honestly. That is kind of a shame. Actually, hang on. Is this... No. Wrong truck. This is the one. Dog found something, did you? Let me out. Thank you. There are mods that try to restore it. Yeah. I have opinions about mods that attempt to restore cut content. Can't wait for Space Fallout's release. Space Preston warns you that a space settlement is in space trouble and needs your space help. I'll mark it on your space map. Yes. Oh. I'm getting a little hungry, am I? I just can't believe that we're getting so close to the release of Baldur's Gate 3 on PC at last. That's going to be so much fun. Like, all three of the games that I'm waiting for this year are games that we're going to be playing for years to come. We've got Baldur's Gate 3. We've got... My map wasn't updating. Uh, we've got Baldur's Gate 3. We've got Starfield, of course, and we've got City Skylines 2. Voice lines are in the game for a lot of the cut quest. Hmm.
Where's Synth Buddy? I haven't seen him in a bit. Get him. God, now I have like no ammo. Come on, dog. Maybe check out here. I don't think I really raided this area very much. Completely untrue, Greeny. Starfield is huge. I know you're not planning to play it, and that's fine. Or at least you're not planning on playing it now-ish. Maybe eventually. Nothing wrong with that. But I am dying for it. Oh, it's just combat that does that, Mr. Soggy Roman, whether it's VATS or not, as far as I understand it. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But it's worth it. I'll take it. Probably un unable to play it. Yeah. I'm not sure yet what platform I'm going to get it for. I'd like to get it on PC because I don't love the idea of playing it on controller, but it's probably more likely to run well on the PS5 than on PC. Who are you guys? Oh, it's Fred, Jules, and Angie. Guys, please. You don't have to do this. You know me. Oh. Shoot. Uh, I don't know if I know sick. this. What happened here? What happened here? I, uh, I, I've been traveling with those two. I thought we were friends. I guess I was wrong. Can we just leave it at that? And you're okay? Yeah, yeah. I just, I wish I didn't have to turn out that way. Though I guess they would have done worse if you hadn't shown. Here, I want you to have this for saving my life. Now, I just need to get out of here. Okay. I don't know if I've ever had that encounter before. I hope it doesn't turn out that I just saved a real scumbag. Can't even afford to move and have to move. Oof. Yeah. Watched a video a little while back for the stuff cut from New Vegas for lack of time or held back because of consoles. Biggest thing I wish they kept was to be able to play after ending battle. Well, 
Why do you disapprove of restoration mods, like when modders try to restore lost content? It's because there can be exceptions, but generally speaking, cut content is cut for a very good reason. Now, sometimes, uh, as Chad is fond of reminding me, that reason is because they just didn't have time to finish it. And in that case, maybe it's okay. Not always, but maybe. But, you know, at the end of the day, it always comes down to you should be able to play the game that you're playing the way that you want to experience it. So if restoring cut content is something you're okay with doing, then... I'm not going to really have that much to say about it. It's just not something I have a lot of interest in doing myself. Oh, hang on. Automod did not like that Cobra. You have a lot more faith not in the devs, they deserve faith, but in the overall process, which isn't always in the hands of the devs. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, Ansara, trust me. Like I said, if it's because they didn't have the time, that's a little bit different. There's other stuff that goes into my feelings about it as well, like modders often have to make creative choices with what they're going to include or how they're going to include the cut content they have to interpret the bits that are left and i don't necessarily always have a great deal of faith in their ability to make those decisions sometimes it turns out great sometimes not so great it's just a very complicated thing Five shots left. Okay, I have more shots with this. They don't have a can't we all just get along option. Thirsty. Oh shoot, do I have any water? That was my last purified water. supposed to be somebody walking around out here. I guess we're going to have to go looking for him. of your imagination. Oh. 
My synth buddy decided to come back. That's welcome news. On Fallout 4, my ending was Minutemen, Peace with the Brotherhood of Steel and Railroad. Yeah, I've managed to do that, but it took me two attempts to do it. That one's hard to do. Well, I guess I've got a lot of 38 ammo. I could use a pipe rifle if I have to, but I really hate using those. You've still never beaten the game? sight on this one. Come on back. This seems like a real good time to back out to the outside and just real quickly lock in my progress by saving the game. It just occurred to me that we do have that person with the minigun coming up very shortly now. Hopefully Larry and themselves will add Tabaxi. I bet there's lots of demand for it. I would expect that them and probably Furbolg and Goblins and such are going to be races added in DLC. Mini fun. Not when you're on the receiving end. It's less fun when you're on the receiving end. Mr. Soggy Ramen, come on, sir. You're acting like I've never played this game before. You think you've got to tell me there's a mattress outside of here? It's a super secret late stream, Dark Sim. Dark M. I'm gonna do off schedule streams once in a while. And there's no reason in particular that they can't be at night. I'm not gonna be going until 4 a.m., I can tell you that, but holy crap, it's almost 2 o'clock already. So I will be wrapping up soonish, but whether that's five minutes or another hour, I'm not entirely certain. I will 
take that, thank you. Come on, Agak, where are you? Late, sir. Boom. I usually don't clear the interiors of these areas, so the exterior cells respawn loot. Got it. Okay. Expecting Lakak here to put up more of a battle, to be honest. Nope. That's what we want. song from the Big Bang Theory, nice. Get him! Oh, is there a legendary cockroach in Costar? Rad brooch with a pipe wrench. That's scary. Another legendary. Damn. Excellent. Bedroll backpack increases wearer's overall carry capacity by plus 30 at the cost of an agility point.
losing agility for carry capacity that you're gonna be over 500 anyway, you have a point, Anstara. That's a reasonable point, I have to admit. book. Man, that late fee is going to be a killer. Oh, I never really thoroughly searched this part, did I? a little bad. Health is kind of an issue. Uh, stim pack, stim pack. There we go. We're gonna have to drink the dirty water, unfortunately. Don't like to do it. But sometimes you just gotta... Yeah, the backpacks are great. I love the backpacks. I'm not sure if I've ever actually used them in Fallout, though. Always in Skyrim. So this will be relatively new for me. Well, we can't run. I'm carrying scissors now. Sweet. Bingo. Stealth book. Excellent. Good. They may release the Creation Stuff Club with the next gen edition. That would be cool. When is that coming out? Have they said? I believe the Creation Club ones are basically the same as the mod ones, Dark Kim. They might be slightly different, slightly updated, I'm not sure. I haven't actually directly compared them, but I know they are comparable. Five minute warning, guys. Ad break coming up in five minutes. save again real quickly since this is all done. Also, I don't think I ever ran up top. There's some stuff we can grab up there too if I'm not mistaken.
Oh, I, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, too, Dark M. Anniversary Edition contains a lot of really awesome stuff. I love a lot of the player homes. Some of the magic is pretty good. Some of my favorite spells are from the Anniversary Edition. The, it's got the backpacks, it's got all kinds of stuff. I think it's great. <sighs> some things that I could do without. I don't necessarily need to have all of the... What are those green guys? Are they just goblins? It adds goblins that you find here and there. I can do without those. But overall, I really enjoy the Anniversary Edition stuff. But then again, that's one of the nice things about the Anniversary Edition, is that you don't get it automatically. You can get it if you want it, and if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Well, hello, sir. Locked on target. You guys want to take this? Get him! Thank you. Oh, are we not done? Get him! Thank you. This has taken so much of my money. I know. I don't regret any of it, though. All right, guys. If uh, you need to get up and grab some food or drink or a snack, I am going to be taking a break here for a few minutes while the ads are running. I'll be playing some clips. So now's a really good time to get up, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Of that, that I always forget about it. This ought to encourage me. What? I expect to be well paid. Nabi? For the money. What the heck? Nabi, thank you. I've no idea what that is. You don't have to tell me. It can be a surprise. I will do an unboxing on stream after that arrives. What? Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Not what I was going for, Aloy. I'll save this for a dire. That's what I wanted. Oh my god, so many... What is going on? Why are there so many dead people? Do we still... Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. So? You leave her alone. Why do I always find the spider caves? what I thought. Bone horror. Yeah. Oh, God. I hate this. That 
was really no match at all. Oh my god, you build the actual family tree? What? Oh, wow. This is really hecking cool. There we go, finally! <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Even the rebound is impressive. In detention center somewhere in the borough. According to oh. what I could pass, it was used to interrogate high value local insurgents. This is one less weapon in their arsenal. I can't believe this was actually useful for something. Okay, I am back. There we go. I don't remember running into that particular little encampment, the body and the lootables and the the mole rats all that terribly often and it's just this close to the encampment I do run into all the time I guess I need to get out of my established habits a bit more often I'm dying again hang on um Yeah, that is very true, Darkem. No, the issue is that I just don't run into it most of the time, Bob. I have a particular direction that I approach that camp from. And then I take care of the raiders that are there. And then I exit the area towards the, uh, the Air Force Station at basically the same vector. And I just never get off to that side. And so I never run into it. I've, I have run into it before. It's just most of the time I don't. Oh, and thank you, Ansara.
across over here, then we're gonna drop some stuff off, and then we'll head back over to Abernathy Farm. Love having drones do your work in your game, Planet Crafter. I've heard of that one. It's supposed to be fairly good. The last couple of days I've seen the Hunter Wild and Smashly playing this game called Cosmeteer, which looks really good. Uh, actually, we raided Hunter, I think just yesterday, and he was playing it. It looks kind of like RimWorld, but in space. And by in space, I mean RimWorld is also in space, but it's on a planet. And this is just in space I with ships. It looks pretty neat. It's definitely on my list for future acquisitions. see what we can ditch. I'm gonna leave the alien pistol. This is in really terribly bad shape yet. It's pretty impressive. It's held up pretty good. Always be vigilant. We have many enemies. Planet Crafter is a game about automation and transformation from turning a Mars-like to a habitable Earth-like while also automating the simplest tasks to focus on the overall research and continuation of Terra for me. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go get some sleep so that we can heal. Everybody knows the best cure for two broken legs is bed rest for a night. And that'll fix you right up. So slow. What's going on? Oh, that would be why I'm still over encumbered. Not by too much, though. I probably got a lot of ammo. Gamma rounds? Damn.
There we are. Let me just cook up everything I can. No caps lock. Now well, let's see what we got here. Um, still hungry. There we go. Now we just have to get back and talk to Blake, and I think we'll be good. I'm going to use up all my stamina. Now watch, it's going to be seconds before like a super mutant assault on the farm or something. Well, that sounds quiet enough. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. She'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. The least we can do. Nice. Alright, what can we do now? Can I do... Oh, I can do level 2 scrounger. I'm gonna do that. Thank you, Blake. I'm really feeling I'm hurting on ammo this game. So getting that scrounger up there, that, that's key. I usually do that earlier, I think. One of these days, I am going to have to get that Point number six. Oh, I have my point number six in charisma. Excellent. So I just need local leader, and then I can start doing the supply routes between the uh, different workshops that we've got. So, let's see. Let's get this saved. And then, my eyes are kind of burning a little bit. I think this is a good point at which we can leave off. And I will be back at my usual time around noon on Tuesday. So, thank you guys for putting up with this short notice, total surprise, quiet surprise stream thank you Ansara let's see who's live
Good night, Super Bowser and everybody. Uh, looks like Hodon Kane is on. He's playing some Warframe. Mama C is playing World of Warcraft. Simcopter is also playing World of Warcraft. Stax House is playing Diablo 4. Uh, Danotaj also playing Diablo 4. Slappy Jack is playing Tears of the Kingdom. Hippo is on playing Morals the Hunt. Oh, Ultra's on. I think we need to go visit Ultra. She's playing some Microsoft Flight Simulator tonight. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to load up Ultra Stream. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everybody. All right, guys. Let me get you Ultra's link. Not that any of you need to be told what Ultra's link is. You all know Ultra. But I'm going to give it to you anyway, just in case we have new folks still in here. So we've got Ultra Source here. She's a very long-time friend of the channel. Very, very cool. We've, uh, we've known and loved Ultra since, what, like 2019 or something like that? It's been a good while. Like four years or something. Ridiculous. Uh, she is playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. She does specialize a lot in simulation games, so driving sims, train sims, flight sims, all kinds of stuff. She plays a lot of SnowRunner, a lot of ATS, which is American Truck Simulator, uh, just all kinds of stuff like that. She plays uh, Digital Combat Simulator, which is another flight sim, and she plays Microsoft Flight Simulator, all that kind of stuff. So really good times over there. And uh, we're going to go pay her a visit. So let me get you the raid call that we use here at the Library of Lore. We use... Shh, it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, if you've got emotes from another streamer, maybe emotes from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message. Arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's go say hey to Ultra, see what's going on, see how her flight sim stream is going, and I will catch you guys over there as well as back here again on Tuesday for a game to be determined. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, see some more of you back here for that. Oh, uh, Hammer, I'm just wrapping up. I'm so sorry. It was an unexpected short stream tonight, but we're going to visit Ultrasaurus. It is good to see you. Sorry that we're just ending. It was good seeing again on the late night, even if it was only a one-off. Well, I wouldn't call it a one-off. Let's call it an occasional thing. I'm not going to make a regular habit of scheduling streams at night on a given day or anything. But this was fun, and when my schedule does allow it, I'll try to make more of a habit of it. Let's put it that way. Because it was really fun streaming at night again. I enjoy it. Uh, so, yeah, let's get over to Ultra Stream, see how Flight Simulator is treating her, and I will catch you again on Tuesday. So, have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now.